succulent lovers. In today's video, we'll be talking about do grow lights encourage insect pests on your plants? Now, the reason why I'm doing this video is I've had a few people say they've noticed they've got grow lights for the first time and they've noticed more insect pests on their plants or the ones they've got have suddenly got a lot worse. Things like mealybugs, spider mites and the like. Now, the answer to that question, personally, in my experience, do grow lights encourage insect pests? Well, sadly, yes. Now, this is only my experience. I have a number of different grow lights here in my grow room, and I have to say, I would not be without them because here in the winter, as you can see, it's very dark outside, middle of the day, 11 o'clock, believe it or not, and it's just very dark during the winter months. So grow lights are absolutely a must for me in the winter time. And although the majority of these plants are only overwintering, and I only have the grow lights on for the same amount of light when we get it as it would be outside. I don't have them on for 12 hours a day or anything like that, unless it was obviously the summertime. They grow, they, they overwinter really, really well. Fantastic for seedlings. As you can see, I've got a selection of different seedlings there that really love being under the grow lights. And uh, these as well, really love the grow light. And as you can see, lots of blooming orchids as well. Very lovely. And although I say the, the grow lights are absolutely amazing, especially for the winter months for my plants, I do find that the combination of the bright light, even if they're only on for a few hours during the winter time, a day, and the combination of the heat, both from the grow lights, because a lot of grow lights do give off a bit of heat, and also being at room temperature, because obviously these plants are kept indoors. They're in my grow room and office, and obviously it's heated, so it's roughly about 65 to 70 degrees Fahrenheit. The heat and the bright light, sadly, does encourage insect pests to breed faster. Now, in the winter months, when it, normally it's cold and it's, and it's dark, and insect pests will hibernate a little bit. They will sort of hide under pots and they'll slow down their rate of breeding. But when you have, the, you know, plants are not the only, only ones that like bright light. So do insects. When you have the bright light on and it's replicating the sunshine and you've got the heat of the house, then you've got the problem that insects will carry on breeding and actually will breed faster than probably they will even in the summer if you've got optimal temperatures, temperatures and lots of bright light. So sadly, yes, in my experience, grow lights can encourage more insect pests on your plants. Now, if you don't have any pests to begin with, then they're not going to give you, you know, grow lights do not give you insect pests. In fact, plants that are grown under grow lights in the winter and dark months are actually healthier plants, in my experience. The healthier a plant can be, the more likely it is to withstand insect damage. In other words, it's not going to prevent mealybugs and spider mites, thrips and all the other nasties that attack your plants. It's not going to prevent them from going onto your plants, but a healthy plant that's growing well and having plenty of, of light from grow lights, for example, is a stronger plant and it will, will withstand damage from insect pests. So it's a bit of a catch, a catch one, you know. Um, while, it, while it can be really good for your plants and help to to help your plants to get over any insect pests at the same time grow lights the bright light and the heat of a warm house and room temperature can encourage insect pests to breed now what i do with mine I'm happy to say i haven't got any insect pests at the moment i do check regularly i use neem oil every couple of weeks so two to three weeks during the winter on my indoor plants that are growing under grow lights such as these. I've got a mixture of lots of seedlings, I've got lots of orchids, lots of cacti seedlings as well. I've got euphorbia, succulents, many other types of cacti in the window as well that are not cold hardy, that have to come into overwinter during the winter months and uh, some hylocereus as well and also a lot of ripsalis, epiphytes that are all overwinter in here. So they can't go out in the polytunnel with my other ones so I do have to keep the room pretty much heated and with the grow lights. But keeping on top of pests is the best thing to do. Check if you have grow lights and you have them in an indoor environment where it is warm. I would just say, you know, I certainly would recommend grow lights. I, they're, and as I mentioned, they're amazing, especially for the winter months. Plants love them. 
and uh, just all you need to do is just keep a closer eye on insect pests um, get the little magnifying glass out check regularly and if you see any treat with neem oil or better still treat with neem oil and horticultural soap every month give them all a good spray just to prevent any insects and this seems to work really well for me and if you want to know how to use neem oil as a, as a treatment and preventative for insect pests on, on your house plants and your cacti and succulents, do check out a video I've made. Links up above and down below. So I hope you found that little video useful. And let me know your experience. Do you have grow lights? And if you do, have you noticed that when you have them on, especially during the winter months when most insect pests tend to be a little bit quiet, do you notice it seems to encourage more pests on your plants? Please leave your comments down below if you've experienced this. And uh, thank you so much for watching. And if you haven't done already, please do subscribe. Don't forget to click the notification bell. And uh, you can also follow me on Instagram and Twitter at Desert Plants of Avalon. I want to send you loads of love, heaps of happiness, and tons and tons of plant power from across the Emerald Isle. And until my next video... Bye.